Let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, small pork loin. <laughs> mm -hmm. In case you're wondering, that's 10.66 pounds. So let's start off with uh, getting the plastics off this 10 pound pork loin here. Now we can get to work. The biggest pork loin we've ever had. Okay. That's the wrapper <laughs> off. Good thing that's not glass. Unfortunately, we have a situation here. The don't. whole thing don't fit in the pan. It's bigger than every pan we have. <coughs> so here's what I'm going to do. <coughs> I'm going to have a bit of fun with this one because it's so large. I need to get something real quick. Here we go. Welcome to Sea Sparkles <coughs> Corner. My son David is showing you how he's going to handle having the biggest pork loin in history with a, we don't have a pan in the house large enough for it. And tell the viewers what you're doing. So because it's so wildly huge and ginormous. Ah, oh, here comes David is the current reigning pork loin king and there's his prince. I bring you my a pork loin devourer of my pork loin. I bring you my slightly uh, small knife. I agree Why don't you just cut it in half and go get in that big pan? I'm gonna have some fun with it. What is this, hunting with David? Hunting with David? Hunting with David! They're after the perfect dish. Actually, that sounds like a really good episode. Where is that perfect dish? The perfect size pan that is not too small, but not too large. Yeah, a frying pan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that one over there. Okay. There's gonna be three different types. <laughs> so I've got this one here, and I've got that one there. Are you gonna make that into two meals? So I'm gonna make it into two different flavored pork loins. Ooh, 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 ooh that was good. <laughs> so while this one's sitting here, What's that? I'm, gonna... I'm gonna pour this on it. Sauce. <laughs> the sauce. <coughs> Spread that, spread it that way, put it back I guess in there. we're having that pork loin for dinner today and that one tomorrow. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> now. <laughs> well, I just... Dave, I hope you know you're sharing that. <laughs> put that blade off. Put that knife. Wipe this blade off. This smart. For viewer information, my son keeps all the knives perfectly I sanitary keep... and These well are my personal for. knives. I keep these exquisitely clean. If I'd be hard pressed to find a knife in my bedroom that's not perfectly exquisitely clean, except for my swords. That's only so they don't rust. Please tell the viewers what you're doing. Now I'm getting my you need the extremely uh, questionably uh, delicious syringe ready. You know I'm checking out with it. <laughs> okay, wash it in there. Got a butter marinade. Now you see I'm doing it this way because it is so low now. And then uh, inject the turkey. <laughs> now a little bit. Oh. Six screaming in here. It's uh 
still a wee bit frozen, but still workable. This is having a bit of trouble expanding out. It's okay, dude. Okay. The whole thing is just fighting with you. You know, coach from Rocky because he had the skull cap. <coughs> She's your coach. <laughs> Punch him hard into the chest. Punch his face. Hit him with left hook Rocky. <laughs> left hook Rocky. They're out. <laughs> Come on, I'm better than this. <laughs> you're no boxing, you're a waitress. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that guy's kind of enjoying it. You know, boxer, you all wages from McDonald's. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's like, yeah, then he punches the poor boy with the left hook really hard. Except Rocky's bone cracks with him. He was <laughs> <laughs> You got another punch? That's the same size as a frog. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Um. <coughs> Who's that trying to box Captain Crunch? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be champion. This is one way of handling it. You see, basically, I'm pulling the syringe up this way. I'm tipping the ball so all the fluid's sitting there. And then I'm pulling back the liquid. You'll never be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> You'll teach us all right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I could play a coach any day. Alright. Oh no! I, you I, just I, hit the right same spot. I, I hit next to the same spot. Alright, so... Just like... Alright. All right. Now, that I've done this here, now i got one more thing I'm going to be doing, because like I said, I'm preparing to completely different pork plays. They're both going to be going in the oven at the same time. That's the tomorrow. trick here, which is tomorrow. As long as I can eat it. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to go and wipe my hands off real quick, and then uh, my friend here, Chris, is going to be preparing the room in the fridge. Going to be getting out stuff that he used when he did his pork loin to put it on top of this one. Oh, yep. Nice. We're combining two pork loin recipes. Okay. Is one or both? Both. Da 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 da. The quinking and quinking of the show is the pork loin. Da 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 da. da. The king and queen of the show is the pork loin. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's meat seasoning, soup seasoning, salsa seasoning, and tenderizer, and that's basically the same thing. <laughs> this is what I used on my pork loin recipe in the pork loin challenge. And I'm only going to add a little bit. <clears throat> oh, it's a big pork loin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put one in this case. First, you gotta make sure you get it all on one side. When you look at this pork loin, what do you think? Yeah, I'm about to eat it raw. <laughs> what that is? Oh, I can't forget about Senator Terry Ham. Just to recap a little bit of pork loin history, Chris never had pork loin before he came here. Yeah, fun fact Chris never had pork loin. If you can believe that. And you can believe this. He's picking his nose now. <laughs> no, I'm playing around. <laughs> Did you, you believe that? Because that wasn't true. I'm the socket cut for three year olds. So what's going on? All right, well, he's doing that. I'm going to be mer going to be injecting the smaller one. Oh, yeah, you're doing that. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Let's get cooking here. 
Hey, we are getting cooking here. Uh, Blame this for not being open sooner. <laughs> you do it, Dad. Let's get cooking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right. When you're bored, watch Chris. You will never be bored. Unless you are a wooden board. Probably, yeah. And, uh, yeah, unless you're wooden Tell board. Tell the viewers what you're doing. I'm taking the Sassen Goy. <laughs> I took away the A. I'm just going to sprinkle it. <coughs> this will just sink in the... No, we got to add some to the sauce. Because the sauce is basically going to... Uh, pork loin is a very unique dish. It will just suck in the juice. For example, uh, when I made mine, it absorbed all the juice. When he did his, it absorbed all the juice. When she made hers, it absorbed all the delicious juices. That's how I get the flavor. Also with pork loin. And David's injecting the mint the some of the head of that form of pork loin. I mean adobo. I usually lightly put adobo. If you're gonna like fry it like like I did, then yeah, you're gonna need to soak them, but we're baking. Yeah, this is baking, so it'll it'll go in there. I'm gonna add some adobo on the sauce. Cause you gotta make sure you kick it in there. Spanish taste. It's still a little frozen. Which means the other kind of assassin. <clears throat> Alright. Ah. <laughs> Alright, this one's ready. Okay, let's I'm not gonna marinate that. <coughs> the biggest problem, viewers, with this is finding room in a refrigerator for it. <coughs> Actually, yeah, that's the one we're gonna have a problem with. That's no problem. I need to put that somewhere. Hold on. Mm. What you doing? Bacon bits? And bacon bits. Bacon bits! Bacon bits! Bacon bits! Bacon bits! Bacon bits! I guess there's not enough meat in the pork loin. All right. Hey! Now, look at that. That now cool. we have the fun part. Uh, huh. How are we going to put these in the fridge? Actually, that one's almost ready. This one, on the other hand, does have to actually go in the fridge because this one needs the compressor to work as, that as the freezer. This one needs the... Uh, wait, wait. Welcome to the game show, Rearranging the Fridge, with your host, Christian. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> um... You push this back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me a couple minutes. Uh, okay. Pull out those two drink jugs. No. <laughs> Whose game show is this? <laughs> I'm just saying, you take, we can take two drink, these two here. Ah. And we can put the pork loin in, yeah. in here. And pull these out. All right. And it. the big pork loin can go in there. You take a picture. I quit. <laughs> I'm tired of the shelf. <laughs> Take the rest of that stuff and put it on the bottom shelf. No, I don't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, hold on, I got this. We got room for the big pan. Oh, man. <coughs> you gotta love this shelf. Back, back, back. <coughs> yeah, I sit off of my job. That's it. You can take your $3 paycheck. I'm tired of this shelf. <laughs> This fridge isn't even mine. <laughs> I'm going back to my cooking channel. <laughs> Welcome back, but we made tarts. <laughs> <laughs> Just add a good with your tarts. <laughs> and voila, you have yourself some delicious things. Those are edible, you know. <clears throat> well, you might as well just eat them. <laughs> Uh, and David is adding water, so that way it tenderizes the moisture. Yeah, and then I would eat sasson, can absorb the juices with the adobo. Yep. It will absorb the juices. That's going to be really fun. Okay. Tasty. Uh, there's one in there. It's a wee bit bad. I got a wee bit of Careful, water. you're going to splash. Yeah, we get it. You're hot. <laughs> Okay. Now, <coughs> did it fit in there? Wow. Ah, I'll see you're the new host of the show. Okay, we now got that spot there available. Now I'm going to take these here two names, put them down there right now. I don't like this. Push show. it to the back, Dave. <laughs> and then I'll just kind of get these out of the way for now. Hey, you're not a good TV host. <coughs> Pull 
Close the fridge. Close the fridge. Where's Christian? Oh, I'll snap it. Okay. Now the pressure. That's what we on this one. Ooh. And that. Oh yeah, let's hide the pork loin from me, you know. That's your Hawaiian punch I bought for you, David. Put that one there. Why are you hiding the pork loin if you know I can see it from here? That, that is the most amateur way to hide it. I can see the pork loin from here. I don't okay. reject. I need a microphone. Find that, David, and push that back. Why don't you just push them back against the wall? There you go, you got tons of room. Hello, kitchen reject. <coughs> what is your questions for today? <laughs> That's great to hear, we don't care. You next, what's up? <laughs> we don't care either. <laughs> uh, okay, tell me what you're saying. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It said... Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, wait, why am I putting my sis thing in here? Okay. I actually use my season. Now, uh, cook them tomorrow. <laughs> now cook them tomorrow. Okay, it's been a whole day and the night, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this one fits. Perfect fit. Let's make sure this one fits. And then here's what personally my preference. You cook it at 350, you take a knife, you just slip it in, you make sure it's done all the way through because you can't actually calculate because of skin and meat and all that, it's different consistency. So that's how I do it. But we're not cooking it quite yet, but that's how you space them. They'll be going in in a bit because you want to preheat your oven. That way it goes into nice even heat and even cooking. So yeah. Now, if you want to do all the math and stuff, you basically, on the internet, they got really nice sheets for cooking times. But this was 10 pounds, it's 350, so... Ah. 20 minutes per pound. 20 minutes per pound. So, weigh your pork loin 20 minutes per pound. That's all you gotta do, it'll be perfect. Yeah, but, personally, what I do is, I just simply take, like, let's say, a knife. You just simply take a knife, you poke it in, you make sure it's cooked all the way through. That's my preference. Alright, so that's basically it, and I'll see you when I turn the oven on to 350, slip in, and see you when it's done. Bye. Hi, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Well, this is the last section in this pork loin special. As you saw, this was the huge pork loin. It we yesterday you saw what we did we injected it and all the sauces we made well what we did was we put it on 350 degrees we cooked this for two and a half hours and this for an hour and a half my son did and it's completely done so everybody knows my friend robbie here and we're gonna have fun let's have some fun and taste test this pork one now the way to correct way, the best way, is this has been setting and resting. Have it rest at least 10 minutes, which it has. I shut it off in the oven, let it rest. Sat on the table, let it rest. So now we've transferred it out of there to keep the juiciness in. Never cut your meat too soon because then the juiciness goes away. Well, look at this. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? Yes. I'm slicing one slice for Robbie to taste test that and let's taste test what looks spicy to me. What is we that? shall see. Pork loin. Both of them are pork, pork loin? Yeah, to cook two different ways as the recipe show. Okay. There you go, Robbie. Enjoy taste testing. And I'm going to um, taste test a bit myself as we cook. Mm-mm. Oh my, that's so good, it's not even spicy. Oh, one second. How do you like it? Delicious. This is pretty good. Kind of mm -hmm. dry, but it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's doing that. 
I'm going to start slicing some of this pork loin. Mm. Delicious. I like this one. Why don't I do that one? Well, they're both good. They're both delicious. And thank you for watching. And as always, we get two thumbs up. Robbie and I both like them. Yummy to the tummy. Tasty. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share. And as always, the fun never ends in the world of smart. Thank you for watching. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. Bye, everybody.